so good morning, and we are group two, group twenty one. Uh, today we are going to talk about the transition from analog TV to high, defi high definition digital TV. The reason for us to choose this topic because digital TV is now become more common every day, and actually it is also a theoretical application of what we learn in the in this lecture. And for analog TV, it actually encodes picture and sign information and transmit in terms of analog signal. As we learned from lecture, analog uh, signal is continuous and very difficult to, to store. And it is also a larger data, data to be transmitted. And for the message received, it is actually a deliberate variations in the amplitude and or <coughs> frequency of the signal. And to transmit the analog TV signal, actually it's in three step. Uh, the first one is the modulation, and the second one is transmission. And the last one is demodulation at the household, so that the image and the sound can be received. And for step one, uh, for the modulation process, the video signal is actually using the technique of amplitude modulation, AM. It is uh, to reflect the intensity of the uh, light, uh, light picture so that the picture can be reflected. And uh, for the audio signal, it's used the frequency modulation, FM. It means that the frequency will vary, but the uh, amplitude will remain constant <coughs> during the transmission. And for the step two, it is the transmission process. Uh, analog TV used the technique of multi-frequency language. And uh, multi-frequency network means that uh, different frequency <coughs> channels will be carried, uh, sorry, the same TV program channels will be carried by different uh, transmitter using different frequency channels. Uh, that means a huge number of frequency channels will be required, and this will lead to an inefficient use of spectrum. And step three is the demodulation. Uh, demodulation is uh, used multiplying modulated signal by the carrier again. And after uh, multiplying the signal with the uh, carrier, we will have a low path, uh, a band space signal and a high frequency component. And that frequency, high frequency component is useless for us. So we need to use a low pass filter to filter out the high frequency components. So that's only baseband signal will be left and can be seen by other household. And as analog TV is uh, using some outdated technique, so it has some fundamental drawbacks, such as inefficient use of spectrum, as we mentioned. But it also has some uh, technical problems, such as it will uh, incur ghosting, which is due to multipath reflections. And it will also have snowflakes due to the weak signal transmitted over distance. And in some serious cases, we will even have some static noise, which no image can be seen. And so that, uh, as uh, the, <laughs> during the development of the nowadays, so that we have digital TV, which using some uh, mature technique to transmit the signal and the sound. And uh, in US, the analog broadcast have been have been ceased after June two thousand um, and nine. And nowadays, in US, they all use uh, digital TV to transmit the TV signal. And then we will talk about the new wave of digital TV. Uh, okay, since um, as Andy mentioned, there's a lot of disadvantage of using the analog uh, TV uh, to send message. So we should uh, try hard to figure out another new operating system to replace the digital TV and uh, to replace the analog TV. And digital TV is the perfect choice. So what is uh, digital TV? Um, digital TV is a new or digital system for transmitting, receiving, and viewing the high quality television image and audio. In short, it is about zero and one. Uh, basically, it, have, uh, it has three types of uh, digital TV, uh, standard definition, enhanced definition, and high definition. Basically, they are running as a uh, similar principle, but the difference would be their resolution and aspect ratio. So we need to find a new platform to broadcast such uh, a digital signal, the zero and one. Uh, therefore, uh, we have figured out the digital television television broadcasting, the TT, DTT broadcasting. 
As I mentioned, it is uh, all about Syria and one. Um, in fact, uh, many countries had tried hard to replace the uh, analog uh, TV with the uh, digital TV, as Andy just mentioned before. Uh, in US, uh, there was no uh, analog TV uh, in the United States. In Hong Kong, Hong Kong government is planning to stop the uh, analog TV in 2012 as well. So uh, what does the DTT broadcasting function? Um, basically, it has uh, six steps. I'll briefly go through it one by one. <coughs> First step is the digitalization. Uh, as we hear and we see as old L signal, therefore we need to have a converter to convert those L signal to the digital signal. And this is called the digitalization. And we will have sampling and quantization port the uh, digital bit stream in order to represent every piece of information we see and hear in the L signal. And the second step uh, would have the three tasks, which is source coding, um, compression, and channel coding. Uh, for the source coding, is used to uh, arrange certain code word in order to make the coding more efficient. And the compression, most likely for the digital TV, would use the MPEG2 standard. And the channel coding is used to detect incorrect errors. And the first step would be the modulation. It is the step to convert those messages into a physically transmittable form. In Hong Kong, it would use the uh, QAM, and US would use an other operating system to modulate the signal. And the fourth step would be the transmission. Different from the analog TV, we use the single frequency network. That means that different transmitter uh, would transmit the same signal in the same frequency channel. It would make it efficient use of spectrum. And the fifth step is the demodulation. It is to take back the uh, signal from the carrier. And we will use the uh, low pass filter to filter out the carrier and take back our signal that we want. And the final step is decoding. Uh, we would have certain decoding formula to transfer those digital signal in terms of the analog signal. Uh, if your home is using the traditional uh, TV, uh, you can buy a set-top box to convert those digital signal uh, into the analog signal so that you can watch the TV as usual. But nowadays, that uh, many uh, TV in the market would have the built-in decoder in the, uh, inside the TV, so you need not worry about to buy a new set-top box to convert those signal. And Katrina will talk about the uh, comparison between analog and HDTV, the benefit of digital TV as well as the future trend. Thanks, Wayne. And let's have a comparison between the analog TV and HDTV. A uh, uh, main comparison between resolution, aspect ratio, and the sound. And for digital TV back, directly comparison, you can see there are more pixels and more lines and which can give you more clear and smooth image. And for the aspect ratio, they have a red screen of 16 to 9 ratio, which, is, which can support higher pixels and um, more suitable for the vision of human beings. And for the sound, instead of stereo sound, we now have multi-sound channels, and which can give you more enjoyable experience. And why you have to switch to digital TV? There are four major benefits. First of all, you can free a broadcast spectrum. Like under the digital transmission, um, each frequency channel requires less bandwidth, so, can the, so the valuable frequency spectrum could be released. And by doing so, um, you now have potentially more programming options. In the past, one frequency channel can only carry one analog channels, but now uh, one frequency channel can carry up to four um, digital channels. Um, compared to the past, we now have more channels, like the J2 and the news channel. And also, as mentioned before, uh, more pixels mean improved pictures, and the multi-sound channels give us a better quality of sounds. And also, we can have some interactive features like the economic electronic program guides. And also, you can now use your remote control to get updated news um, 
uh, program schedule or even play some interactive games like the ATM Gamqin hosted by Bernard TV. So what we would expect in the future is that face-to-face -face business meeting will be eliminated as the video conferencing can now be carried on both the TV and the computers. And there will be a rise of interactive TV advertising, which can um, enable the company to get immediate feedback from the audience. And also, life will be more convenient as you can use your remote control to purchase um, groceries. And also, we may expect people to play more interactive games on TV, like um, you may play Angry Birds on your own TV. And that's the, uh, and that's the end of our presentation.